Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing a ton of new products from Ulta. I'm going to go ahead and dive right in. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up before you leave and also subscribe to my channel and my blog which will be linked in the description box below and all these products that I'll be using today will be linked there as well. So yeah, I'm going to jump right in and I hope you enjoy. So I have lots of goodies from Ulta. So I'm going to start with a few products by Millie Bobby Brown. Um, she has a new cosmetic line called Florence. The packaging is so cute. It's just this really pretty purple color. I'm going to start with the Like a Light Skin Tint. So it says, sometimes we want to glow and we just can't. This non-greasy skin tint gives us all the glow that we need, but is still sheer enough to let our natural beauty shine through. Made with plant-based oils and nourishing moisturizers, to make our skin look and feel smoother like a dewdrop. So it sounds really interesting. Um, it says to blend one to two pumps onto your skin with your fingertips and add a little more if you want just because. Um, it says we keep it clean, cruelty free and vegan for all skin types. Dermatologist tested. We support youth living life to the fullest. For more information you can visit florencebymeals.com. Um, so, so far um, the packaging is super cute and this product looks interesting. So I decided to go with the color M090. This is the color that matched my self tanner the best. So this is the product. You get one fluid ounce of liquid. It says to add one to two pumps. So I'm just going to do two pumps. And by the way, my hands are very clean. I went and washed them. Okay, so right off the bat, I smell, I don't know, it kind of smells like chocolate. Maybe I'm just hungry, but. So it feels really nice on the skin. It doesn't have like a very greasy feel. It just feels like very hydrating, but without like, feeling too oily. So as it kind of dries it gets a little bit sticky so I think you would probably have to work pretty quick with this to get like a full even coverage before it dries. I'm taking my beauty blender and just kind of dabbing it into my skin just to blend it well. So my skin feels really refreshed and it definitely has like a dewy appearance which I really like. I feel like my skin just looks really healthy and clean. I'm going to build the coverage a little by adding one more drop to my beauty blender and I'm just going to kind of see what we can do with this coverage. I mean I really like the way that it feels. So next I'm taking the See You Never concealer. Um, this is the shade FL025. So once again, the packaging is really nice. Um, you get 0.4 fluid ounces of liquid. Bye bye and bye to spots, dots, and sleepy eyes. This weightless light coverage concealer helps to even out skin tone without setting into dry spots. With caffeine and a cooling metal applicator so our skin will feel the love. As you use the metal tip and apply it directly to your skin, use your fingertips to blend and add more for extra coverage. So I'm loving the fact that this has caffeine in it. Um, it's very rare to find a concealer that does have caffeine. So I also love this metal tip. So the metal is very cool to the touch and I like that because it will help with like depuffing your eyes in the morning. So I'm going to add a dot to my ring finger. So I'm just going to kind of dab this under my eyes. So I really like the shade that I picked out. And just so you know, a little bit goes a long ways with this concealer. Which is nice because it will last a lot longer um, because you're not having to use as much product. It's very pigmented. So I'm not the kind of person who likes to blend out concealer with my fingers. I just never get a good application. So I'm just going to use my beauty blender to blend this out. So it definitely does blend out really nicely. I'm taking a little bit more and I'm just going to kind of 
dab a little onto my forehead um, just to highlight this entire area. So far, I really like those two products. So Urban Decay has a new product called the Ultimate Brush Off Set and Go Powder. This is what it looks like. So it has this little brush that pops out of the top. And as you can see, it's just a loose powder. Um, I'm going to take a large fluffy brush and just blend this into my skin just to kind of set the um, skin tint and the concealer so that it doesn't move around all day um, and also because I feel like my skin does have a little bit of a shiny appearance so I have an oily skin type um, so I always set with powder regardless just to take the shine away and by the way this is the color translucent um, and I'm just going to kind of softly brush this into my skin and you can see it's already taken the shine away I like this powder because it's just such a light powder um, that really feels weightless on the skin. And it doesn't look so dry on your skin because a lot of times a powder will just be like really heavy and cakey. But this one is just such a nice texture. And you can't even feel it on your skin but it really does blend out so well and make everything look flawless. I think it's so cute that Millie Bobby Brown came out with her own little cosmetic line because she always looks absolutely adorable and she has like this beautiful skin. So next I'm trying the Cheat Me Later Cream Blush. The color I got is Glowing G. I swatched it in stores like I was having a really hard time picking out the blush because every single one of these cream blushes were gorgeous. Um, they had like a kind of coral tone one, they had a really neutral one, a pink one. This is like more me, um, so I did decide to go with this one. I think the packaging of this is super cute. Um, so this one says, a little flush is sometimes all we need to feel perked up. This creamy blush dries down to a powder finish that doesn't slip or slide off of your skin. Named for Millie's BFFs. So it says to finger paint, just press, pat, and tap to blend. Improvise and put a little on those luscious lips. These can be used for your lips and your cheeks, which is a really cute idea. Um, that's another reason I love cream blushes in general is because they're like multi-purpose. So I'm just going to dab a little on my cheeks. I'm going to go ahead and get this side on and then... I'm going to try blending it out with my beauty blender just because I feel like you just never can get like a smooth and even blend with your fingertips. So I'm just blending that into my cheeks and it is such a gorgeous color. One big issue with having a lot of skin texture like I do is that any kind of cream products a lot of times will not blend as well. So now I'm using the Zero Chill Face Mist. Um, this one says, when our skin has zero chill, we reach for this botanical rose infused spray to restore the good vibes. Made with seaweed, a natural skin smoother rich in yummy nutrients and thyme extract this wonder mist instantly transforms our skin from moody meals to major meals that is so cute um i just love how everything is so personal on this packaging it says to dance and shake before use close your eyes and spritz your face and use any time because there are no limits you get 3.4 fluid ounces um the packaging is so cute it's very high quality um, and so far, like, all the pumps are really high quality, even on the concealer. I absolutely love that applicator. And then the foundation had a really nice pump as well. You can tell none of this stuff is cheap made. It says, shake before use. Close your eyes and spritz over face anytime for an instant pick-me-up. So, I'm going to shake up this rose mist and then start spritzing. So, I'm a big fan of any kind of, like, rose water sprays because... It just feels so nice. So when I saw that Millie Bobby Brown 
created a rose spray. I was so excited. I knew this would be definitely one of my top favorite products by her. I use the Mario Badescu spray all the time. You can probably see it right here um, in the background. I use it constantly. So I'm so excited about this product. Oh my god, that feels amazing. It's like the finest mist. It's definitely finer than any of the rose water sprays I've ever used before. Um, the mist just like hits your face. You can feel it all over, but it's not like super cold or wet, which I love because what I can't stand is like a facial mist that makes you feel wet all over. And the smell is incredible. Y'all, this smells so good. I could use this all day long. Like I love it. That definitely gets... A 10 out of 10 for me that's so good I actually think I like this one more than I like the Mario Badescu one which is so hard because I've used the Mario Badescu for years and years like I have always loved that spray um, it's the only one that I would use that didn't break my skin out I don't think this would break my skin out though because it has such pure ingredients I meant to add a little bit of the blush just to my lips to see how it feels It gives like the cutest little pop of color. I mean, you could easily wear that as a lipstick. Okay, so I definitely love that blush because you could easily use it as a lipstick and a blush and it'd be really easy to pack like during travel. That way you have a multi-purpose product so you don't have to carry a million different products. So now I'm going to test out the lip gloss by Millie Bobby Brown. This color is Moody Mills. Um, I did swatch a lot of different ones in store but this one was my top favorite. It's just a very pretty neutral color. I'm just going to put it on over this blush that I have on my lips just to see kind of how it looks. So the applicator is very nice, it has this nice little flat side to it and it feels so good on the skin, like it's so creamy but literally zero stickiness which if you know me you know that I do not like lip glosses, like I'm not a lip gloss wearer, I would much rather wear a matte lipstick any day over a gloss just because number one it gives me anxiety like if I'm outside and my hair like sticks to the gloss or if the gloss feels sticky it will annoy me all day long. But this literally feels like a lip oil, but with color. Another new product that I've been super excited about is the Benefit Brow Styler. Um, this is a multitasking pencil and powder for brows. Um, it says this 2-in-1 wax pencil and powder is, is all you need to create three essential brow looks. Um, you can do soft and full, clean and shaped, or bold and defined. Uh, let's see, it says it is a waterproof wax pencil for sculpting and shaping with an 18 hour wear. So the packaging is really cute as always. Benefit always has such good packaging. Um, this, the color that I decided to get was neutral medium brown, which is also a 3.5. So it looks kind of similar to their other brow products. The top just pops off and it is a wax pencil on that end and then the other end I'm trying to do it without messing something up okay so this is just a little applicator um, I'm assuming the powder is down in here so you can see it's just a really nice applicator so I'm gonna start off with the wax end um, and I'll do one brow just so y'all can see the difference So I'm just softly filling in. As you can see, um, the wax really did fill in my brows nicely compared to this side. Um, so now I'm going to try out the powder side. Um,
the only thing I guess that I would complain about with this product is the fact that it doesn't have like this fully brush which obviously they did powder on one end and the pencil on the other so there was nowhere to put the little spoolie brush to brush out your brows so I'm just gonna use um, the spoolie brush of my other benefit eyebrow pencil and just kind of blend that out because I don't like leaving my brows just super harsh I just didn't like the fact that um, I didn't have a way to brush out my brows but of course you can buy like a little spoolie brush pretty much anywhere um, drugstores or Ulta or Sephora and that would be like a quick and easy fix so it's not even that big of a deal but I do like to you know soften my brows by brushing through them once I'm done filling in the powder just kind of seems a little messy um, I'm not gonna lie I feel like it's kind of sliding all around it's really hard to like shape and define because with this pencil, you know, it's such a fine little tip, um, and then you can see the difference. This is just so much thicker, so it's hard to really define your brows and shape them up good. I mean, I don't hate it. I just don't love it as much as I do like my other pencils but um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this brow so I took off my Florence lip gloss and now I'm going to show you guys the new Too Faced gingerbread scented liquid matte lipstick um, this is the same formula that I normally use um, it's just a matte limited edition color I swatched it in store and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous So this is such a gorgeous color for fall and winter. It's just such a warm, beautiful, like, kind of like a deep reddish burgundy color almost. It reminds me a lot of Diva by MAC, except it's not as dark. And it has a little bit more of a, kind of like a red tone to it, I guess. But it is gorgeous. This one smells amazing. I just cannot get over the fact that it smells so much like gingerbread it smells delicious it actually makes me so hungry and it also gets me really excited for like Christmas time So the next product that I want to talk about is the Revolution Prime Set and Glow Eliminating Face and Body Spray um, this might not be new to some of you guys but it is new to me um, it's a product I've never tried before but something that I've been wanting to try so this is what it looks like and you do have to give it a good shake um, in the store it was like settled here at the bottom so I just shook it up good and you can see that that really gets it all mixed together I don't know if you guys can see but like it's kind of messy like I don't know if I just got a bad pump or what but the products like leaking out so I don't really know if I'm like that impressed with this product or that in love with this product I feel like it would be a really good spray for like your body so I'm gonna go ahead and spritz and just see this one just definitely stays like kind of oily so I feel like it would transfer onto your clothes um, I'm gonna give it a sec and see how long it takes to dry and if it rubs off really easily so I'm just wiping to see like how bad the transfer is. I mean, it definitely does have a little transfer, but I mean, I think it would be nice to just spritz this like on your legs when you're wearing shorts or a dress. Um, and it'll just give you like a nice pretty glow. But would I buy this again? Probably not. Um, it's not my favorite setting spray ever. So last but not least, I'm going to be showing you guys the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Collection. This is the Volume 1 palette. Um, they just recently came out with volume 1, 2, and 3. Um, it is a pro pigment palette. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is very high quality. Um, it's very sturdy. So this is such a gorgeous eyeshadow palette.